the recovery in investment continues to be promoted by very favorable financing conditions and improvements in corporate profitability. <coughs> Moreover, rising employment, which is also benefiting from past structural reforms, is having a positive impact on households' real disposable income, thereby providing support for private consumption. Also, there are signs of somewhat stronger global recovery and increasing global trade. So, for the first time in more than four years, we now have inflation in the Eurozone that is higher than the European Central Bank's target of below but close to 2%. What has that meant? It meant that going into today's meeting of the European Central Bank's Governing Council, Mario Draghi was under some pressure to change his rhetoric on the Eurozone's economy. Up until this point, Draghi has been quite gloomy. He stressed the downside risks to growth and he stressed that the European Central Bank stands ready to do more if needed. Because of the higher inflation figure and because of signs that the recovery is becoming stronger and more broad, he was now under pressure from the hawks to shift the rhetoric slightly. Did he do that? He did, but the changes were very small. There's still a commitment from the ECB to cut interest rates again if necessary. There's also a commitment to expand QE if it needs to. They're the basic messages and they're unchanged. However, Mr Draghi was a lot more optimistic in the way that he talked about the Eurozone's economy. And so it does sound as though the ECB slowly is starting to take small steps towards reconsidering its policy stance.